Welcome and thank you for coming. This week we celebrate a day to give thanks. It's a day for families, a day to count our blessings, a day for reflections. It also marks the beginning of our season of sharing. So we're here today to call on the CEO of the world's largest employer, Walmart, in the person of Mr. Lee Scott, to re reflect what this company has accomplished and share that bounty with its own employees. Unfortunately, hundreds of thousands of Walmart workers will not share in the bounty because Walmart has shown that it is willing to put profits before family values. If I were at worship at Tabernacle, I would say, hunt your neighbor and tell your neighbor that ain't right. This profit over people policy adversely affects all humanity. Here are the facts. Walmart fails to provide company health care to over half of its 1.39 million employees. Of that 1.3 plus million, more than 118,000 are African American and 78,000 Latino employees that do not have health coverage through the company. By its own admission, one out of every two children of Walmart workers are uninsured or on taxpayer-funded health care programs. That's over 100,000 African American workers and 66,000 Hispanic workers whose children are either uninsured or forced onto public assistance. In the largest gender discrimination lawsuit in history, Walmart is being sued for discrimination against two million current and former female employees by paying and promoting women less than men for the same jobs. By its own admission, Walmart is facing 57 active lawsuits for labor law violations, such as forcing employees to work off the clock and forcing employees to miss meals and breaks. Walmart repeatedly violates child labor laws in the United States, even after it was caught and fined in 2005. The company continued to violate child labor laws, resulting in a June 2006 fine. According to the New York Times, an internal Walmart audit found that 1,371 violations. What did Walmart do? It simply stopped the report. Mr. Lee, you, your shareholders, your company, have a lot to be thankful for this week. It's time that you made the right corporate decision to do the right things for your employees. Your company earned $11.2 billion in profits last year. It is time for you to do right by your workers. Finally, my friends, this is no panoply of sophistry made to perpetuate or deny Walmart or its billions of customers the right to offer and purchase goods. But it is an appeal for Mr. Lee Scott and his profit over people corporate fat cats to heed the warnings of the Holy Word. In Jeremiah 22 and 13, it says, Woe to him who builds his house by unrighteousness and his upper rooms by injustice, who makes his people work for nothing and does not give them what they are due. Malachi 3 and 5 says, In a call to repentance against, among other things, those who oppress hired workers in their wages, they are called to beware. Christ tells us in the Gospel of Luke to take care 
Be on guard against all kinds of greed, for your life does not consist of the abundance of your possessions. No, I didn't come here today to call for a boycott of Walmart. I encourage a free market economy, and I applaud industry and probity in the marketplace. But I am calling on Mr. Scott to remember that Romans 4 and 4 tells us that to the one who works, wages are not reckoned as a gift, but as something due. And from my window, Walmart employees' wages and benefits are past due and payable. When I was growing up in Kentucky, we had a little country store that my folks shopped at. They would send me as a little boy to go and buy goods. When the end of the month came, the owner would give me what was called a due bill. And I'd take the due bill back to my father. My father would send me with the money to pay the bill that was due. Mr. Lee Scott, your due bill has come due. Pay what you owe. Give the support that your workers need and allow them the ability to be proud of their work. 